today i am going to give you the demonstration of colorimetry experiment the title of the experiment is colorimetric estimation of copper in copper sulfate for this we need some of the devices and chemicals this is the device called photoelectrocolorimeter this is a cuvette we need to take this cuvette as a sample holder and a 7 25 ml standard flask so in which different colored solution that is copper sulfate solution standard solution prepared so in the second step we need to prepare a standard solutions of copper sulfate by taking 2 ml of copper sulfate 4 ml of copper sulfate 6 ml of copper sulfate 8 ml of copper sulfate and 10 ml of copper sulfate after this we need to prepare one blank solution and also the test solution now i am going to give you how to prepare these standard solutions of copper sulfate so this copper sulfate is prepared by adding 2 ml of copper sulfate and then 2.5 ml of ammonia which is which acts as a coloring agent or complexing agent then rest being the distilled water that is up to the 25 ml mark we have to add distilled water this is how we have to prepare this secondly 4 ml of copper sulfate and then 2.5 ml of ammonia as a coloring or complexing agent then rest is distilled water and make up to the mark similarly this is the 6 ml of copper sulfate and then it is 2.5 ml of ammonia and then rest is distilled water similarly this is prepared by adding 8 ml of copper sulfate and then 2.5 ml of ammonia then rest is distilled water at the end we have to prepare this 10 ml of copper sulfate by adding 2.5 ml of ammonia the rest is water the blank solution is one which is used to set the optical density to the zero or absorbance zero it is prepared by adding only 2.5 ml ammonia rest is water similarly after preparing all these things we have to get the test solution from the examiner so to the given test solution test sample we have to add 2.5 ml ammonia rest is water so these are the some sets of standard solution blank solution and test solution so after preparing this let us switch on this instrument called colorimeter photoelectric colorimeter this is the colorimeter so it is uh, we have to set the wavelength 620 nanometer here we can uh, see the different filters at the filter number 7 we have the 620 nanometer it's already adjusted filter number 7 which gives 620 nanometer because at 620 nanometer copper will give the maximum absorbance that is why 620 nanometer is selected for the copper estimation colorimetry the first thing is we have to set the absorbance zero by taking this blank solution so this is the blank solution i am uh, taking the blank solution in this uh, cuvette we have to rinse this uh, cuvette with the same blank solution and then after rinsing we have to add 3/4 of this so we have to wipe this well before inserting in the colorimeter we have to wipe using the tissue paper so it is we have to select here zero here yes it's showing zero now we have to discard this after setting the optical density to zero we have to discard solution and wash with the distilled water and then we have to measure the absorbance the same wavelength for all the rest of the colored solution starting from 2 ml now i am adding 2 ml of copper sulfate before adding we have to rinse with the same 2 ml of copper sulfate solution now 3/4 i am adding i am taking 3/4 of this solution or to wipe well to remove the moisture content water content here and now i am recording it is giving 0.07 0.07 is the absorbance for the 2 ml of copper sulfate this has to record in this here it is zero we need not to record anything for the zero for the 2 ml it is 0.07 absorbance similarly we have to record the absorbance of all the standard solutions like 4 ml 6 ml 8 ml and 10 ml so after recording all these standard solution absorbance so we have to record the absorbance of the test solution also here this is the test solution so i am measuring here it 
rinsing with the same test sample, then uh, filling three fourths. Wipe well, then keep it inside the colorimeter. It is giving 0 0.16 or 17, 0 0.17, 0 0.17 for the unknown solution. This is the test solution or unknown solution for this optical density is 0 0.17. Like this, we have to record the absorbance for all the solution. This is one of the previous uh, record here. Some of the values uh, are shown here for the 2 ml 0.06, for the 4 ml 0.10, 6 ml 0.17, 8 ml 0.24, 10 ml 0.30. For the unknown solution, it is showing 0.17 same as our reading. Now, after all these things, we have to go for the graph. The graph is plotted like this by taking the volume of the Copper sulfate in the x-axis that is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and absorbance values readings in the y-axis. We are going to get one calibration curve just passing through the horizon. Using this we have to find out the volume of the unknown copper sulfate solution. From this volume of the unknown copper sulfate solution we will calculate like this. That unknown volume is multiplied by 0 0.10. It gives the weight of copper present in the solution unknown solution but then we have to write the result like this so the weight of the copper in the given unknown copper sulfate is 6.2098 similarly the volume of the given copper sulfate solution using the graph is 6.1 centimeter that is ml this is how we have to write the result and this is how we have to do the colorimetric estimation of copper in colorimetry thank you